important question. How to resolve such a ugly labeling tasks? If we have uh, very difficult labeling, transparent bottles, transparent labels, underqualified operators, how to manage in this uh, environment? So usually operators for the labeling machine should be, should be very experienced, you know, to make a changeover between these different types of bottles. It's a, it's a nightmare and honestly, the possibility of uh, different uh, improvements in changeover were, were very low until we got to this point. So, whoops, <laughs> until we got to, to, to this point. So this is Duo 4G, our flagship labeler and I will explain about this machine in a few seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you today this machine. It's a Duo 4G. It's our latest labeler and includes all of the solutions that we think that are very productive and, and very helpful with day-to-day uh, -day lab labeling. So let me remind you what I think is the most important in labeling. First, labeling is a pressure process. So original name, name of the labeling uh, label was self-adhesive label was pressure sensitive. So to apply label correctly, we need to apply pressure. So this machine is designed for the highest possible pressure that you can apply in the linear system. Another thing is the precision of orientation. So this machine also includes uh, 3D printed parts that help to do very precise labeling. As you can see, the cycle of the machine, um, first bottles are separated by twin belts, then oriented by the slight separation device that will put the bottles directly under the top conveyor. So we, we, we are sure that we orientate bottle and put them under the top conveyor to be sure that the position of the bottle will not change while labeling. Then we have labeling stations uh, with uh, pressure plates and this machine is designed for the non-stop operation. So why non-stop operation? Because we want to have the lowest possible downtime. Uh, so again, we have two options. You can use the same, the same product on uh, two labeling heads and be sure that with the longer production runs, uh, you will have uh, re reduced downtime due to the label change, which can be significant in many cases. Mm, but in most of short run application, because this is our main, main target, Unilog Robotics, U2 Robotics is a company which is focused on short run production and adaptive manufacturing. So the short runs can be managed uh, that you have one type of the product on this labeling head, second time of the product, second type of the product uh, on the second labeling head set, and the machine can automatically make a line clearance between, between products and change over with a uh, few seconds to avoid uh, any stoppage. What is very important also that this machine can um, reject, can, can make a quality control of the bottles very, very efficiently. We use, uh, we have a pretty good experience with, uh, um, with vision system label, labeling position control. So we are able to detect uh, minimum displacement of the label and reject label precisely uh, le reject labeled bottle precisely uh, from the uh, stream of the packages. So um, we can be very quick with 100 ppm operation, very quick changeover. We can be very precise because this machine, as they, our different machines, they require, they have, a, uh, they have servo drive, they have very precise uh, label sensor, so the precision is uh, below half millimeter, and uh, 3D printed format parts that are very affordable high labeling pressure uh, which which uh, prevents of bubbles on the label uh, labeling quality check with vision system and reject so it's very very interesting machine what's so also very important that we don't need to move any spindles inside the, inside the machine so during changeover we have changeover motors that move axis directly to um, the desired position according to product recipe. So it's very easy to change over this machine. Um, you don't need to move any spindles. So if we have any mechanical adjustments, um, for example, angle of labeling, we have also uh, angle sensor that informs us about the current position of the labeling head. So we can change 
um, position of the labeling heads by automatic changeover motors and very precisely adjust angle, reading angle position uh, on the screen uh, from the from, from actual angle uh, sensor. This labeling head is very stable. We can um, achieve up to 120 meters on this kind of label, 120 meters per minute. So you see the design is very, very um, rigid. Uh, the adjustments are stable. It's, it's very, very uh, precise system and very powerful for long run labeling, short run labeling and uh, different labeling shapes. What is our, um, to assure that changeover is very fast, um, it's maybe changing position of the labeling heads, it's not that difficult uh, part of the changeover process as experienced customers know. So the most important part is usually pressure, pressure plates. So, so to adjust pressure plates, uh, we don't actually change the angle. So look, if we have difficult product, because for example, if, we, if you look at this kind of bottles, that for, for imagine that we want to put a transparent label on this bottle or on this bottle. It's going to be really a nightmare to set it up with PP, uh, with polypropylene transparent labels. So, I mean, if we look at this kind of labeling materials combo, like transparent label, it's, this label is not uh, for this bottle, but you know, you can imagine how ugly it will look. <laughs> It's it's very difficult combo to place this kind of material on this kind of bottle. And most of the success of this operation depends on the angle of the pressing plates. So in such a cases, we can adjusting position of the pressure plate here and searching for the correct angle according to labeling head. Mm, it's one thing, but reset it again for different products can, can be painful. So in this case, we can take the whole platform. Follow me. And, and apply this platform to, to the machine. So each adjustment of the angle will be reproduced because we are not touching. We, it's a quick changeover mounting block. So we are just placing this here and we are sure that that angle will be correct. So uh, of course there is, a, uh, there is a cylinder that moves pressure plates front and back because we, we, are, uh, we need to be able to change uh, labels outside of the product, uh, mm, product movement area. So, so we are sure that we can change the labels, make some uh, make, make test infit of the test, test outfit of, of the label to be sure that we are keeping their position uh, well. Mm. So what is important with the changeover on this machine? Uh, we have motors that can change the position of the labeling head, so we don't need to move any spindles. We have a quick ch changeover set for this most difficult part of the process, so for angle adjustment. We can change whole labels outside of the, outside of the, uh, of the labeling uh, track inside the machine. Mm, and also what's important, this position, labeling head is very robust, you see. Uh, we use, um, you, there is, it's very rigid. Uh, we developed this labeling heads years ago for the high speed application, as I said, 120 ppm. And so the design of the labeling is very robust, it's very heavy. You see, it will be very stable and will deliver very high precision labeling because the most, of the, most of the labeling precision depends on the rigidity of whole machine. So this, you see, this is very rigid system. Uh, it's, it's very stable mechanically. And uh, that's why it's, it's our flagship, flagship labeler and we are sure that uh, this, this machine can deliver really superb quality of labeling, very good changeover and very stable operation within different, uh, different format parts and different bottle formats.